So first we have to find the right template, the right size for YouTube channel banner. And you have two ways to do that. First, you can go to Google, you can search for YouTube channel banner template, click on any photo. If you're on iPhone, just click and hold, then click on add to photos and you will see it in your photo or you can use the special template I made for you. You can find it on incomeola.com. Go to the menu and find freebies. From here, scroll down until you get to the template. And from the templates, choose YouTube channel art. Click on download. And you will have this template from Canva. If you click on use template, Canva will ask you to sign in and then you can change, use and change the template as you wish. We are going to create our YouTube channel art from Canva. If you want to sign up for 30 day free pro trial, you will find the link in the description of this video. You also can just sign up for completely free and use Canva for free. So I'm in Canva right now and click on the plus, type in YouTube and choose YouTube channel art. This will give you the right dimensions. Now you can choose any template here or we are going to make from scratch. So click on uploads. If you downloaded the template from Google, click on upload media, click on photo library and choose the banner that we downloaded. Click on it and make sure to resize it to the whole frame. And now you have the right dimensions to create your banner. The darkest area is the safe area. You will see this area on every device, on mobile, tablet, desktop and TV. Then you see those two other areas. One of them you will see on desktop and the big area you will see only on TV. So of course, as you understand, the most important things you want to include in the, this very gray darkest area because you will see them on every device. So this is how you upload from Google. If you will use my template, you click on use template, Canva will ask you to sign up or to log in. I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. And right away, this template is adjustable and you just type on the elements to start adding elements. So of course, after you learn what area is safe for what, I suggest you delete those guidelines and start editing your banner. You just click on this text and click on delete. So let's leave those lines just to know what is the safe area for us. Of course, this background you can delete too. I just edit it to just to make it nicer. So let's start editing our channel banner. First, click on the plus button. From here, you can use backgrounds or let's just use flowers. Now to see our lines, just here on the bottom side, scroll to the side until you find position. Click on the position and click on backwards and another backwards and now you see your lines again. Click twice on the channel name and now you can type in. Now let's add some text underneath. So click on the plus button and from the bottom side, click on text and let's add a subheading, mm, let's say, Here on the bottom, you will see font and font size. Click on the font size and you can make it a little bit bigger. And also you can change here the font to any other font you like. Now let's add something on here's the side. So click on plus, click on add heading. Now you can rotate it if you want. And let's 
put some subscribe button or something here on the bottom side scroll to the left and right until you see elements click on that and let's add some subscribe and let's choose this this one and on the left side i just leave it empty or i can add my picture plus on the bottom side screen click on upload and find your picture or upload media here because i have canva pro i can remove the background if you don't have canva pro you can remove background on background remover you have many many background removers that are pretty good i also have a video about how to remove your background if you want you can watch it on my channel so let me click on effects background remover i'm gonna make myself on the left i'm going to flip myself horizontal i have to be sized in this little area and don't forget to remove those little guidelines click on that click on delete click on the second line click on delete when you're done click on this little arrow and click on download and because i have canva pro i have transparent background and other things you don't have to do that just leave it on png because this is what's suggested and click on download and in my case i have to go to my files and find it and then click on this arrow and save image now it's in my camera roll so after we created our banner let's upload it to youtube click on your youtube app the regular one not youtube studio click on your profile icon or profile picture and click on your channel from here click on edit channel and you will see that your banner appears with this little icon of a camera when you click on that you can choose from your photos take a photo cancel if you click on choose from your photos you can choose our little banner that we made now you can see that the subscribe is on the right side you still will see it on your desktop and on all devices you will see this little area that lighten up we can resize it but basically it matches exactly so click on save and go to back to channel and you will see this is your channel banner so that's basically it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find it helpful if so don't forget to give it a big thumbs up to help me with youtube algorithm and also subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this i hope to see you in my next video bye bye creators